Hey there, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a bit of a departure from my typical beauty content. And I'm gonna be sharing with you some fall purchases that I've made, some fall fashion purchases that I've made. And also some of my fall kind of staples to build uh, a basic fall wardrobe. These are pieces that I've kind of accumulated over the years that I kind of think of as the basis or the core of my fall wardrobe. Um, some are still available, but some are old pieces, but they're really easy to duplicate. It's just more of like a concept. And I will link um, all the products I talk about below. And if I can't find the exact item, like I said, if it's old, I will link up some similar pieces um, that are kind of currently uh, in stores or online. All right, so the first, this is an actual new purchase that I just um, uh, bought a few weeks ago, and it is by Velvet by Graham and Spencer, and it's a faux shearling vest. So it's got, um, it's kind of like a suede tan color, and it's got the faux shearling inside. It's just a really good transitional piece. I love vests. I only have two vests actually, but I really, I'm surprised that I don't have more because I find them so easy to kind of throw on with like a big scarf and a button down shirt or a turtleneck and they're, they can kind of take you all the way up to when it starts to get really cold for at least up here in New York. And I like that you can kind of put them under big coats if it really gets bad. So I like that they're kind of like a layering piece. Uh, the next piece is like a staple I bought a few years ago. I feel like everyone, every girl in New York has this jacket, but I like the concept of it. It's just like a basic, it's the J. Crew Field jacket. I have it in the um, kind of the Nate, the um, army green shade, which I feel army green along with black and brown to me is like a basic, basic staple. So I just like it because it's casual. I can throw it on with pretty much anything. I wear the heck out of this jacket. So I just kind of like the concept of like a lightweight, casual jacket um, to kind of transition from fall, from summer to fall, and then again from winter to spring. I pretty much pull this out and wear it all the time. Next is another kind of transitional piece, and it's Actually, I wear it pretty much all year round, except for like the brutal winter cold. And it's my Gap denim jacket. So I bought this, it's still available at Gap. I bought it, I think a year or two ago. And I wear this three seasons out of the year. So I wear it spring, summer, fall. I mean, this gets so much use. And I wear it with dresses. I wear it with jeans. I love the denim on denim look. And I wear it with skirts, shorts, you name it, I wear it with it. So I feel like this is a really um, great piece. I was looking for, I wanted to kind of get a really nice denim jacket. I was thinking about splurging on Rag and Bone, had a nice one. But I found the one from Gap. It's a little big in the shoulders, but overall I like the fit of it and the color especially. I really like that it's not too dark and not too light. All right, moving on to trench coats. Trench coats are pretty, you know, major transitional piece, especially in the fall. And I have two different trench coats. So I bought one a few years ago from Banana Republic. And it's just a basic kind of like lightweight um, beige trench coat. And I like the fit of this. It does, um, it gets a little bit wrinklier than I like, but overall it's a really nice um, style trench, double breasted. And they always kind of do one, Banana Republic and Gap always do a standard trench pretty much every spring and fall. So that's why I wanted to pull this out and show you guys because they, Banana Republic and Gap, always do classic uh, trenches for every season. But I did splurge last year because I wanted a little bit heavier weight and I wanted a trench that was a little bit, had a little more fun detail. So I bought this from uh, Saks. It's by The Couples. And I don't know if you guys can see, it has like leather detailing on the um, collar. It also has like zippers down the side here. This is an old piece, um, but there's very sim there's you know tons of similar kind of trenches with a little more detail out in the market uh, place today. ASOS does a ton of them, and so I'll try to find some and link them up below. But I really like this as kind of to be the outfit, so to speak. It's because it has a little more detail. I bought this plaid car coat many, many years ago from Club Monaco, and it has been one of my favorite pieces I've ever bought. And plaid car coats are like a dime a dozen now at this point. They're everywhere. Like Nordstrom has a ton of them. 
And so this is what it looks like. It's just a big, it has like a big collar. Um, it does, doesn't have long sleeves, which is kind of uh, annoying, but you know what I do? I buy sleeve, um, fingerless gloves. So J. Crew has them. And uh, I like to kind of use that as an extension to kind of keep my arms uh, warm, especially when it starts to get, or cold, or keep them warm when it starts to get cold. So that's what I um, do to kind of make up for the gap is I buy those like fingerless gloves and they tend to work uh, perfectly. All right, so those are all outerwear pieces and the rest, you know, we'll just kind of get into some clothing pieces. And these are not really staples only for fall. They're pretty much staples all year round. And I always like to have, you know, silk blouses or button down blouses. My favorite places to go, so I just purchased this one from J. Crew, and it's just a beige um, ivory silk blouse. I also have this one from Club Monaco. And I try to buy a new one every year or so because I tend to wear them so often that I wear them out. And I hate to like wear them out and then they have, you know, I need to go purchase them like immediately. That way if I have two or three, I can rotate them so I'm not completely wearing one out and then I have to go and repurchase like on the spot. So my favorite places to buy, you know, silk blouses are from J. Crew. I love the way that they fit. And Club Monaco also makes really, really great silk blouses. And I like the way that they put their buttons. Also a brand that I like, I don't tend to buy their um, beige or white silk blouses just because they are a little bit pricier. So I like to buy more pattern colors so that, you know, if I get it dirty, I don't feel so awful about ruining it. Um, and that's equipment. So I'm wearing an equipment blouse today. I find that their silk blouses, they make great patterns and the shape is great. I buy the slim and then I also buy the regular standard um, silk blouse from Equipment. So those are the three places that I like to buy them from. Also a good tip if you struggle with gaping at the, um, I left mine open kind of all the way today, but if I was going to go to work, if you struggle with like gaping on your button down blouses, Hollywood Fashion Tape, I'll link it below saves me every time. That was the deciding factor when I never used to wear button down blouses because I felt that I couldn't because I'm a 32E, so I'm a little busty. And I would always have gaping right here and I'd be like, well, I can't wear button down blouses until I found that Hollywood fashion tape. So I pretty much unbuttoned my blouses to like the lowest point that I can go. And then I just kind of tape um, right above it. So it kind of holds it to basically the place that I would have liked to have been buttoned. Or if I have some that just gape, you know, throughout down the shirt, I use the Hollywood fashion tape. It is changed my life and now I love wearing button down blouses. So another staple that I have in my fall wardrobe, pretty much fall, spring, even summer, it's pretty much a year round piece, is a chambray button down blouse. This one is from J. Crew. They make it every year. It's on the website now. And I wear a chambray blouse all the time with denim, with a button down, with a pencil skirt, with uh, a dress as like a little jacket. I mean, I wear it all the time. And a tip with my button down blouses, I hate tucking them in often. So I tend to, I like button down blouses because I can tie them up and I tend to wear a lot of like high waisted pants and skirts. So I tie them up so I don't have to tuck it in, but it still doesn't show my belly. So that's how I like to wear um, a lot of my button down blouses. All right. So another staple is kind of striped shirt. J. Crew does some great ones. This one is from Gap. Um, I really enjoy this one. Just has like little zipper detail down the side. I also picked up one from J. Crew as well. That's, um, I ordered it like a few weeks ago. It was on back order, so it should come soon. I like this one, but the zippers make it a little difficult to tuck in. So I ordered just a basic one that doesn't have zippers on the side from J. Crew. But I love something like that under like, I would wear this with um, the shearling vest. I would wear these two together and with jeans or with a denim skirt or um, even a, like some slacks or, you know, tons of different things that you can wear that with. So definitely love um, a striped shirt and as a staple. Next turtlenecks. So I love layering turtlenecks, like really thin 
turtleneck. So I know J. Crew makes those like tissue turtleneck soles. I don't really like the tissue texture of them. They're a little too thin for me. So I have found and fallen in love with um, turtlenecks from Club Monaco. So they make this basic staple turtleneck. Let me see, I brought tons of colors, but I literally buy one or two every year and that way I have like a whole selection of colors now. So they're just like a very thin, lightweight turtleneck. And the only thing is the neck does tend to kind of um, slide down sometimes. And I like my turtlenecks to go all the way to the top and stay tight. So that's the only, that would be the only downside about these, but I would size up in these, but they are great for layering. I layer, um, layer them under my sleeveless dresses so I can wear my summer dresses for the winter. I love them under sweaters if I need an additional layer. Here's like an olive green one that I've purchased. I have this gray one. Um, I have them in black, burgundy. I have them in stripe. I literally buy, like I said, two a year. And that way I have like a good selection to pull from and I can mix and match with my whole uh, closet. All right, another piece, everyone loves like leather pants for the fall. Well, I didn't really want to invest in a pair of leather leggings or leather pants because Often leather stretches out, and I'm not going to pay five or six hundred dollars for a pair of leather pants and have them stretch out. So I bought a pair of pleather, faux leather leggings. Um, Nordstrom does a ton of great ones. These are from a brand um, on the Nordstrom site. They actually have like, you know, regular material in the back, kind of like a stretchy material, and then faux leather on the front. And they're by Trouve. It's, I think it's a Nordstrom brand, I think, because they're only sold on the Nordstrom site. But they were really affordable. I think they were like 50 or $60. Like I said, I didn't really want to go crazy and buy the certain things I want to invest in. Leather pants at this time is not one of them. So I just figured I'd go with the faux leather leggings and that um, I like that they kind of had a pants material um, on the back. Another kind of faux leather piece. I love uh, pleated mini skirts. Though I'm kind of short, I'm 5'4". I've really enjoyed the look of them. And if you can get a really good one, it's, I've, I've enjoyed wearing them because I've found some good style. So Zara makes some great ones. I bought this faux leather one from Topshop, a Nordstrom last year. And I saw also like a nice pleated black skirt from Aritzia, is that how you say it? A-R-I-T-E-Z-I-A. -E so I really love pleated mini skirts and I like to wear them with button down blouses, a turtleneck, a big chunky sweater. Um, I would probably do this with like a turtleneck and even like that vest I was talking about. And then tights, boots, you know, the whole nine yards. Okay, this is a new purchase and it is a denim skirt. I kind of was, you know, hesitant. I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to buy a denim skirt because I had denim skirt years ago and it just, it didn't look current anymore. I tend not to buy very, obviously you can see like not a ton of trendy pieces. So I like to buy pieces that I'll just wear for years and years and years. So I really debated on this, but I liked the shape and I liked the color. So this is Alexa Chung for AG jeans. And so it is a A-line denim skirt. It is a little short. I mean, not super short. It comes above my knees, but I liked it because the denim is so dark that it doesn't, I feel like it could kind of stay the course. And I like that it was a basic A-line shape rather than like a pencil skirt. I felt a pencil skirt for me as a denim pencil skirt was not as, you know, timeless as the A-line shape. So I really love this. This has been really popular. I had to track it down like a few different sites and buy different sizes to see which one would work. But I managed to, I think they still have some sizes in and some retailers, so I'll link it all below but I thought it was a really great um, buy. Once again, I'll be pairing it with that vest and turtlenecks and big chunky sweaters and tights and wear it with sneakers and a t-shirt in the summer. I mean, I pretty much see this as like a year round piece. All right, so big sweater coats. I don't have a ton because I'm really picky when it comes to sweater coats and kind of the ones that I like, but and I've seen some online, some are really ridiculously priced and I just can't justify spending some of the prices for these. So I have this one from years ago from Zara and that's where I really like, it kind of is gathered in the back, which I love, but I find that Zara does some of the best sweater coats. So that's where I recommend going or kind of poncho cape kind of things. Uh, this, like I said, this one is from Zara's for many, many years ago, but that's where I would recommend going for a great sweater coat. Unless I find one that's, 
absolutely mind blowing you know, on shop off or something, I pretty much would go to Zara for my sweater coats. All right, jeans. I pulled three pairs that kind of encompass my whole jean wardrobe. I don't have a huge ton pair of jeans, but I bought staples that kind of cover every aspect that I could need. So first is um, like a good distressed pair. And this is from Current Elliot. So this is their stiletto jean. And so they've got tons and tons of rips. Uh, really love these. I love them because they go right to my ankle and I didn't have to hem them. So that's a huge thing because I am so short and finding jeans that go to my ankles is impossible. So the current Elliott um, stiletto jean does that. So a basic pair of like dark denim. These are from AG. Yeah, AG. And I think they're the legging ankle skinny. I had to hem them and I hemmed them a little bit too short. So they like really go right to my ankle. That's why I always love buying jeans that maybe are cropped or whatnot. That way I don't have to worry about hemming them. And this is my newest pair that I just purchased and they're by Topshop. And I believe they're the Lee Topshop Moto. So it's black and they have um, just rips at the knees. I have a basic pair of black denim without rips because I like to have both you know, just depending on where I'm going. But I like these because they are a little bit softer, so they're not a complete denim material. They feel like, kind of like a soft cotton denim, and they fit like like leggings. And I really enjoy these. I think they'll be a really um, great addition. They're super comfortable, and they're a little bit higher waisted, which I like. I don't tend to like super low waisted jeans. They just don't look right on me. All right, sweater-wise, chunky sweaters, obviously super popular for Fall. I mean, it's always good to kind of pick up a good chunky sweater. I like turtleneck styles, and I find one of the best places to go for kind of this classic style is J. Crew. So I bought this big turtleneck um, beige cable knit sweater um, from J. Crew. They pretty much do this style every year. Love this sweater. I wear it with everything and anything. I wear it with, you know, like a long button down shirt hanging out underneath, or just with denim, with a skirt with pants, you know, it's pretty much um, a great staple in my closet. And like I said, J. Crew does some of the best ones. And then, you know, you can buy these really anywhere. I bought this one at Piper Lime, so this is like a big, chunky, gray, long sweater. And I felt that this was, you know, great to wear, and it's really, you know, comfortable, a little more casual, but Nordstrom does a ton of great, big, chunky sweaters. All right, going to scarves. So my favorite place to shop for big like blanket scarves is Zara. So I have this big one that's kind of like a great pattern from Zara. And I've got this other black one, black and white one that I bought last year. Highly recommend hitting up Zara for your big scarf blankets. And then I love infinity scarves. So they're kind of like, they're just kind of like a all in one. You just wrap them around you. Club Monaco does some of the best ones in my opinion. They're a little bit pricier, but this seriously will hold up for like 10 years. Um, and it's really nice and thick. The only thing is I cannot wear my infinity scarves with like a big coat. So that's pretty much only for fall when I can wear it with like a shirt or like a light jacket. Okay, so next are hats. I love wearing hats in the winter and summer. So this is a new one I just bought from Janessa Leone. And this is kind of just a black, I don't like super floppy brim hats, so I thought this was just enough where it's not too floppy. I also really like to go to The Gap for their hats. They do really great ones. I bought one a few years ago that was like a really great, it was only like 30 or 40 bucks, um, and I really, and I still wear it to this day. So love those. All right, going on, moving on to shoes and boots. So this is my newest pair of shoes that I just purchased and they're by Acne and they are just a flat boot and has like a one and a half inch heel and this is the Jensen boot. So really comfortable, great with pretty much everything, skirts, pants, jeans, you name it. Love those. And then next is two staples that I've been wearing for years and years. They still make this um, style and this is the Rag and Bone Newberry booty. 
And then this is the Isabel Morant Dicker boots, uh, ankle boots. So both styles are regular staples. Um, I wear these, these from Isabel Morant, I wear all year round. And Ash shoes makes a really good dupe for these. So I'll link those below because I, I have those as well. I bought those a few years ago and I really love them. And then I um, splurged for my birthday last year and bought these and I've worn the heck out of them. So if you want any styling um, kind of inspiration, everything that I've showed today, I've worn on my blog or will be wearing in the next or will style on my blog. So just search my blog. You will literally see everything that I feature today worn there. All right, so I love Oxfords for fall, and I bought these from Vince um, last year, and they kind of they kind of look like the acne boot with the same heel, but I love these with skirts and dresses and jeans, and I like them because I don't have to. They still cover most of my foot, so they keep me warm, but I don't have to worry about tucking anything in because they're they're not a boot. So love those when it comes to the snow my favorite boots are by sperry so the the top sider boots really love these i love the color because it's just like basic brown i can never get my hands on the ll bean boots um so i went ahead and just picked up a pair of sperry's sneaker wise vince does these really great kind of slides that i wear in the fall i wear them all year round actually this color is discontinued or it's old, but they make a ton of other great colors and I'll link those all below. Another great place for ankle boots is J. Crew. I have a ton of their ankle boots that I've bought over the past four or five years. These are a great like black pair that I purchased um, a few years ago. So J. Crew, great for kind of classic boot staples. And as far as kind of knee-high boots, I bought these rain boots, and they're available on Shopbop. They're by Sloosh, S-L-O-O-S-H. But I love them because they look like a boot that you can wear outside of the rain. Like, I have hunters, but I just, hunters look very, like, bad weatherish, and those don't. Um, I also have a pair of Fry boots that I love, and they kind of just good old classic look like riding boots. And the last thing is tights. So I wanted to mention these because I swear by both of them. First, for my opaque tights for the winter, I only probably exclusively wear Simply Vera from Kohl's. So like $7.99, and they are the con control top um, tights, and I've been wearing them now for like eight or nine years. They are the best tights ever and Simply Vera by Kohl's. And then for like fishnets or pattern tights, I like Commando um, because the waistband comes all the way up very high and there's no like, there's no waistband around like the upper part of your legs, I hate that. And their fishnet pattern is really classy. <laughs> like I've seen some fishnets, it looks like you're wearing fishnets. This pattern is a little bit smaller and just looks kind of like a netting rather than fishnets. And then another kind of recent fall purchase is I just bought a pair of like basic classic um, brown tortoiseshell sunglasses and these are by Chloe. So it's a little hard to see, but I'm wearing them on my blog. Um, I've worn them in a few posts already and I'll be wearing them in future posts. They're just like a classic tortoiseshell pair of glasses. So that is it. Those are all kind of my recommendations for fall and some pieces that I've picked up recently and some places that I love to go for basic fall fashion staples and hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like diversion from the regular beauty content and I will link everything I talked about below I'll try to find dupes or, or you know whatnot things that are very similar so it could be like a lot listed below but I'll do my best to kind of bring it all together so I will talk to everyone soon okay take care bye bye